Hello everybody, greetings and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're back on day five of my favorite rock albums from the year 1979. The album I've chosen for today is Get the Knack by the Knack. It's a fantastic album. So this was released on June 11th, 1979 on Capitol Record label. I guess that's where the comparison between them and the Beatles came from. Not really sure why there's that comparison. To me, they're completely different. I've never thought of them in the same vein, but for some reason they got compared to the Beatles. And maybe it's because the album was such a monster hit. That, that would maybe explain it. It's a debut album by this band. A fantastic album from top to bottom. I have to say that I, when I was out last week shopping, this was one of the albums I wanted to have because it was the only one in the top 10, I believe, that I didn't actually have a uh, the album. I didn't actually own the album, but I had loved this album for many years. Um, I had it in vinyl originally, and then I ended up with it in 8-track as well and played them both out on the street walking around with my ghetto my 8-track Ghetto Blaster with this album sticking out of it like an idiot. Yep. So, yep, fantastic album. Lots of really good stuff on here. I think the drummer um, is very good and the guitar player is very underrated. Um, he doesn't get the kudos or the notoriety that he should. Some of the stuff that he did is like classic. The drum beat, of course, is classic. We all know that. So this album has... 10 tracks or t sorry 12 tracks in the original version it had six and six um, on the a and b sides so and i like all most of the tracks on here quite a bit let me let me out come get me out baby i've been stuck here for so long yeah such an upbeat heavy um just launching of the album a, gr a great opener i think um your number of, or your name. This is a little bit more of a toned down song. Has a little bit of uh, a little bit of a story going on. I, I kind of like this song quite a bit. It's kind of catchy as hell. Otar, of course, uh, got that little guitar rift at the beginning. That's so catchy. Um, one of three female love songs on here. Uh, so then you've got "She's So Selfish," which is probably my favorite track on this album. Uh, it's it's power pop it's bombastic it's in your face it's definitely a song written for the young males yeah such a great track um the live version is a little bit more graphic than the uh album version when i say live i mean when they perform it live um maybe tonight one of the weaker tracks on the album I, I don't mind this track. It's it's not that I don't like it. I just don't find it as good a track as some of the other stuff. Good Girls Don't, which was the track that um, was the second single on the album. Did very well, actually, but it just hasn't held up memorable-wise. A lot of people don't even know about the song. It's not a bad track, though. It's pretty solid. Then you go to the flip side, side two, which, of course, launches with My Sharona, which is the big the big hit for this album, a monster hit, put this band right on the center page. Um, got that iconic drum beat, of course. It the, the, the only time I ever get kind of annoyed with this song is when you hear like versions of it on, they'll do it on TV or they'll do it on, um, sorry, on the radio where they cut the guitar solo out, which is to me the most important part of the song is yeah, the beat is real catchy and all that, but that, that guitar solo is absolutely fantastic on here. Um, and they cut it, you know, doesn't make any sense, but that's what they do. Anyways, My Sharona, um, great tune, of course. Heartbeat, yeah, it's okay, I don't mind that one. Siamese Twins, The Monkey and Me, this is a kind of a quirky song, uh, but I do like this song. It's, it's one of those quirky songs that just sticks in your brain and you can't get rid of it. Lucinda, another song that, you know, not as great of a song. I liked it more in the days when I listened to this album more when I first got it than I do now. But still not a bad song. That's what the little girls do to you. And I don't want to go there. 
<laughs> I'll just leave that song alone. Frustrated, which is the final track on the album. Another upbeat. They open with Let, Let Me Out and Frustrated Ends. They're both very similar upbeat, high-energy pop songs that um, really bookend the album very well. This is a great album. If you, if you want to try listening to a new wave album or a power pop album with bite to it and high energy, this is the one to get. Get the knack, buy the knack. So that's it for this um, this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe if you uh, want to help out. And um, you know, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this. If you have any comments about the Knacks Get the Knack album, please put them in the comment section below. Anything you want to add or you know, any comment you want to make about it, that's great. So have yourself a good day. And enjoy the rest of the evening, and we will see you again tomorrow with another episode of my 30 favorite rock bands, my 30 favorite rock bands, my 30 favorite rock albums from the year 1979. Take care.